Um, can you start with your overall, overall thoughts on the match on Monday? Yeah, I mean, we, we started out really well. Uh, got a goal to get, get ahead. Um, unfortunately, uh, we gave up a goal very quickly after that and um, sort of lost our way and the way we started the game. But I thought overall we were the better team in the first half, and uh, we deserved to go to go up maybe two or three goals. Uh, we missed some clear chances, and then uh, you know obviously the rain delay came came in, and uh, that really hurt us. Uh, but we can't use that as as an excuse. We got to be better. We came out flat. They wanted it more. They had more energy, and although we kept it to zero zero until the 81st minute. Uh, I felt like that in the second half, they pushed it a lot more than we did, and they wanted the game more. And uh, that's something that we are constantly talk about, talking about, you know, the mentality that we need to take out on the field. And uh, it was their pressure that caused us to turn the ball over for, uh, for their winning goal. And uh, that's the kind of pressure we need to put on the opponents. And you get a goal from Prince early on. That's got to be a good sign uh, for you to see. It's his first one in a while, and if you can get him going, that can really be done. For sure. Prince uh, Prince was really good uh, in the first part of the season, You know, getting a goal almost every game. And then he went through a period where he got injured, and that kind of affected his play and form. And uh, now he's, he, he, he seems healthy. He seems fit. Uh, he's... You know, he's got that commitment to work hard. And if Prince works hard, you know, with his speed and athleticism, he's going to be a menace for any team. And that showed early in the game uh, against Loudon. He scored a goal. He could have scored another one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but it's not just Prince. Everybody needs to, to be fit. Everybody needs to be strong mentally and fight right through the end. you saying you're not using the lightning delay as an excuse, but... Yeah. How challenging is it when you have an almost three-hour lightning delay cutting the game in half? Yeah, no question it's, it's challenging. But, uh, you know, you got to overcome those challenges just like they did. I mean, uh, you know, uh, what I do is I compare our energy level to them. And they had played a couple nights, three nights before that in Charleston. And they had gone a man down. So they played like, I think it was 49 minutes or 48 minutes a man down. So if anybody should have been tired, it should have been them. If anybody should have had more energy, it should have been us. But unfortunately, that, that we know that didn't happen. And I thought the second half, they were the better team. Uh, you got to give them credit. Uh, but we're going to change the mentality here. Uh, everybody's going to be stronger. Everybody's going to know that it, it, it takes commitment, especially commitment to defend as a unit. And if we do that, we don't give up goals. We're always going to be a tough team to beat. Danny, back in the starting lineup, wearing the captain's armband, mm -hmm. what does that do for this team? Well, you know, he showed his qualities on the field. Uh, you know, Danny hasn't played in a while, so he's not at his uh, best form physically. Uh, he's not yet 100% fit. But we had to go with him because I feel like he gives us uh, feet in the middle of the field, uh, field where he can control it, he can keep possession for us. And also with the final ball. I mean, you saw the ball that he played over the top to to um, to Elvis for a breakaway. A couple other balls that he could have gotten assists from. Um, and that's what he brings to the table. Uh, he also can drop and help us build, you know, with our build up out of the back. And he did that really well. And we had an easy time building out of the back, especially in the first half. You have one home game in July. Yes. How important is it to get a win on Saturday? I mean, it's critical. You know. Uh, Look, you know, I, I'm not going to put the pressure on the players or, or say that, they, you know, this is a final and we have to win the game. But, you know, every game, every game now becomes critical for us, whether it's home or away. Uh, we need to have the same mentality. Obviously, we're home. We have the advantage of our fans being here, supportive of us, and hopefully we can we can ride that energy and get a win and then go on the road and, and try to, you know, gain some confidence through playing well defensively and hopefully taking our chances on the road. San Diego, tough opponent from out west. Mm -hmm. What are some keys to beating them on uh, Saturday? Defending well. I mean, uh, they're, they're a good team. They, they keep the ball well. Uh, they possess it. They have a, good, a lot of good attacking players. So, you know, we, we want to attack them. We want to make sure that we have control of the game by possessing the ball. But at the same time, when we turn the ball over, it's... 11 guys behind the ball, defending as a unit, and making sure that we don't give 
any space for them to operate and then hopefully we can hit them on the counter.